to youtube it's your girl z baby with another video and in today's video it's going to be another story time video but it's going to be a twist on it so today i'm going to do something different that i never did before i don't really talk about things that happen in the media but this particular incident i feel like i have a lot of same similarity so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it so let's get right into it and shout out to all my new subscribers that's this is that has subscribed to the channel i truly appreciate every single one of y'all that has subscribed your girl just got off from work every i'm trying to get rid of this glare maybe i'll have to do you know get away from the extra lighting in this apartment because i got lights coming from everywhere but, oh Ooh, almost knocked the bush over that's what i get for drinking my little crump juice Y'all remember when Crump Juice was popping, um, Lil John and Eastside Boys? That is so old. I'm telling my age. But anyway, let's get right into the video. So, I've been on TikTok, and if you do not know, you need to follow your girl on TikTok. What are you doing? I'm going to put my TikTok, my TikTok name in the description. I'll put it, like, on this screen. But anyway, I was watching a video on TikTok. And it really alarmed me and it really brought awareness to me. And I really didn't like what was going on. So everyone knows about, I think it's Carlita Hood or Carlisha Hood. She had a son and her son was with her at a restaurant. And not she had a son, but she was with her son and she was in the restaurant alone or whatever. The person that was talking to her was this ignorant guy. He was very rude and disrespectful. I didn't really get to see the full clip, but basically he was yelling because she wouldn't be quiet because I had to watch a couple of videos to figure out what's going on. Because the clip that I seen, I only seen when he was like, get your food, get your food. And he punched her in the face like three times. And what I wanted to say was, is that when she got hit, she didn't fall. Like she was taking the punches, like she was like it was a dude, but she ain't fight back or whatever. So, um, I heard her in the video say, "Son, son, son." So her son went and got a gun, and then he ended up shooting the guy because he was hitting his mother as he should. So when I was looking at that video, I had to look at it a couple of times. It brought me back to um, a memory that I had when I was in my, I think late 20s and i remember it like yesterday because one thing about me i'm very 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 protective over my mother you know what's funny i was at work today and my mother she came to see me and i was so excited to see her because i've been working a lot i moved out when i was living in, in the home with my mom we shared a bedroom together and i had half she had half i would do my youtube videos in the bathroom and everything and you know she came to see me was talking it was such a great thing but i go to say this is that when you are a child that loves your mom unconditionally it is very hard to disattach yourself from your parent so the fact that the little boy well he wasn't that young but he was a, a teenager got the gun and shot the um dude that hit his mother i give him all the congrats because for real a lot of women especially young black mothers be getting abused beat hit on cursed out yelled on and nobody comes to save us so i was really happy that you know his his her son decided to you know make sure that he, his mother was good because I look at it like this. He could have kept punching her until like she was unalive, like what they did to Shankrella Robinson. Now her was a little different, but it's just like, you never know when someone hits you, how can it affect you? You don't know if someone could keep hitting you, your eyes get messed up, your nose, your lips, everything. And I was looking at a video on TikTok and the second video, there was these two guys talking about some yeah, I ain't gonna even hold you. If she was doing that, you know, talking, being loud and not keeping her mouth closed and staying in a woman's place, she would have never got hit. And it's just like, who do you young guys think you guys are? Like, when is it okay to hit on a woman? Like, I put that on my TikTok call. When is, when is it okay? It's not okay. Like, at the end of the day, like, we're women. Women, it's 
just what the name is. Women, we have a vagina. We have titties. We have stuff. Like, you cannot just beat on a woman and expect everything to be okay. Like, me, I've seen my mom get abused um, in in the past or whatever. I'm not going to name, but I, I've, I've been through domestic violence relationship my own self you know I've watched my mom go through it when she was younger and it's like at the end of the day like we are not to be hit on like now the new me if a dude comes into my life and he puts his hands on me I'm out the door my life is better alone than trying to be with someone that's gonna put their hands on me that's gonna try to one up on me and it's at the end of the day, you guys are wrong. Like, I, I just was like, wow, they're really trying. I'm, you know what? This needs to, because I feel like, even though they're fake plants, I don't want it falling on me. But um, it's just funny that people will try to act like, you know, it's not a big deal that she got hit. So moving forward, the charges were dropped and the incident end up being self-defense now here's where i put my story time spin on it so when i was in my late 20s because i kind of cut it off because i got into what i was saying but when i was in my 20s i um was i think visiting my mom or living with no i was living with my mom at the time we lived in a two-bedroom apartment and i remember my brother did something to somebody in the neighborhood and um the family was very upset because i think he had did something i don't know if it was true or not but they basically said that he did something um crazy i'm not gonna put my brother's business out there but what i'm trying to say is is that shortly after that the family came into our apartment and they like tried to come in and attack my family it was my sister my brother and my other brother now two of my brothers they had got abused off the break but they were young at the time and they were just growing into their manhood or whatever me and my other sister or whatever we were the two that you know was jumping out there like no you're not gonna come in here and try to abuse my mother so one of the ladies decided to get out of order and she tried to sneak my mom and the first thing that i did i jumped in front of my mother and i was like try me i was like you hit me and i'm going to hit you back if you even try to strike my mother it's going to be a problem she was like where you from and I was like, I'm from D.C. And they were like, oh, we're from D.C. too. And I remember that I jumped right in front of my mother because the lady thought she was about to sneak and punch my mother. I jumped in front of my mother and no one touched my mom. My brothers got abused, but my mother didn't. And it was my instincts. Like, as soon as I seen the lady try to rush my mother, I jumped in front of my mom and I was like, no one's going to touch my mother. I don't know what it is. It's about parents, but it's just like, I think it's like an emotional, biological connection. When you see your parent and somebody's trying to harm them it is like no other rage that comes out of you and I remember my heart beating a mile a minute and I was like if this b-i-t-c-h touch my mother I'm gonna strike her ass down with no hesitation like at the end of the day I don't play about my mom I love my mom my mom is the sweetest person you know like seeing her today and us talking and having like a long talk and everything was great but like at the end of the day the reason why i'm making this um video is that i don't understand why people in the usa especially black people feel like it's okay to hit on people's mothers or try to strike people's daughters or try to abuse your girlfriend and then you still trying to sleep with her like like I said, when I was in my long-term relationship, abusive relationship, I had issues like that where my abuser would choke me or whatever, throw me on the bed or whatever, and then the next day try to level on me and, and give me gifts. I have been in situations where my abuser really thought it was okay to continuously hurt me um also people use words or whatever that that is abuse too like him telling her to eat your food or get your food or whatever the case was was crazy like 
who are you? You're not nobody's father. You can't tell somebody what to say and how to say it. So at the end of the day, no, I do not feel sorry for the guy that decided to put matters into his own hands and hit a woman. Number two is the men on TikTok, I forgot their names, defending this dude, talking about some he lost his life or whatever. And, you know, we never can get back a good one. No, we need to get rid of these wrong ones. The more black men step up and help a woman that is in need or help in any situation will be the better for the black race. If not, then we're going to continue to keep going through the same old, same old. And at the end of the day, no, I'm not condoning in, you know, black on black crimes because that's a lot going on. But at the end of the day, I really feel like a lot of black men are comfortable beating up a woman because it makes them feel inferior. But why you can't take that same energy and go beat on a man? That's what I always used to say. Like, why is the energy so on 10 to a black woman to the point where she's getting beat, slapped. Again, not even if, not, but it doesn't even matter. I'm going to say, like, when Shaquella Robinson got beat or whatever, even though she got beat by another woman, it's still something in some black people where they hate, they don't like, they're jealous, they're, you know, they envy. They just have a lot of hate in their heart. And it's like, at the end of the day, we got to stop being like that. Do not hate your sister. Do not hate your brother. If you see them, help them out. Like at the end of the day, there's no reason to have that animosity. But when I seen the video, I was just shocked. I was like, wow, like it is what it is. And then um, someone, I was watching someone else's live on TikTok and somebody was saying that the dude that got shot and that provoked the mom, his girlfriend got paid for the um, boy getting shot or whatever. And that could happen too, though. Because they, they also said that the dude that got shot, I don't know his name, his girlfriend got paid for him being killed. And then also they were saying that he was in multiple domestic violence cases. Like, I think he has like three kids and three baby mothers. So he's a HO, a whore. And I think one of his baby mothers, he decided to burn her house down. So it's just like, at that point, he's a menace to society. He's one of those souls that doesn't care, that doesn't care about nobody. He don't care about nobody's life. Because I'm sorry, if you have a baby mother and you burn her house down, I'm thinking that that, that was her property. You really have some issues. Like, you know how hard it is to get a house? Right now, I'm in a home program, and it's, and I'm struggling myself. But at the end of the day, to burn somebody's house down, you really got to have a lot of hate in you. So at the end of the day, I really feel like the dude, um, I forgot his name, that, you know, in, um, beat on the lady, um, Carlita, or Kurt, I don't know how to say her name, Miss Hood, um, you know, at the end of the day, like, he did a lot. Like, a lot of guys will do a lot of negative things to a woman and think that they're not going to get your karma. If you do something really evil to somebody, you got to expect the karma to come back to you, no matter how the situation played out. And again, with the guys that were like trying to protect him or whatever on TikTok, talking about some, we lost a good one. At the end of the day, I don't see anything good on you beating up um, a woman in public at a restaurant. That's unacceptable. And that type of behavior should not be tolerated no more. So I hope that was an example for other men to come. Do not try to hit on a woman, especially in public, and think that you're going to get away with it. So that's the end of this video. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get a video every time I upload. And I'm going to finish my little drink that I made, even though it tastes like trash. But I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey y'all, just wanted to pop in to make this quick little message right quick. I really truly believe that the younger guys, not all younger guys, but the majority of the younger guys believe that women are supposed to be abused in public with no consequences. And 
at the end of the day, you shouldn't be touching a woman, beating on a woman, putting no harm to a woman because simply because you came out of a woman. And I feel like as women, we should always get respect. There should be no reason why we should be getting hit on, beat on, abused, talked down to, all type of crazy stuff. And the guys that be like, oh, the women are wrong for it. It shows that you are a bitch and it shows that you guys really need to wake up and realize what a real man is because real men do not be on women point blank period.